Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Southwest Angler TV. You're with DeAndre Johnson, your host, and today we are going to go fishing out. We're going to try to hit at least three of the urban lakes here. We're going to go to Kennedy, Silver Bell, and maybe Lakeside. We're going to see what happens. But yeah, we might have Dominic join us a little later, but right now it's just me and we're going to try to figure them out. We just had a cold front blow through, so um, it might be a little tough, but we're going to try to figure it out. All right. All right. So see you guys later. I'll have to send it to you later tonight. Cause I need YouTube. So. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I've been trying to get a YouTube channel, bro. I just, I got some. Now it is. Catch a release every time. <laughs> Not a bad fish. A little two pounder. Out here by the dam, dragging a jig. You know, it's kind of windy, kind of want to throw a spinner bait, but kind of don't. Probably will. I think I'm going to put one on. I'm going to put a spinner bait on. Um, guys over there throwing a big old HUD. Gosh, seven inch hug he's throwing. He said he was getting bites. Hold on, tractor dude, driving by. Anyways, yeah, that dude's throwing around huds. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw a spinner bait. Big old half ounce spinner bait. See how that does for me. Not because this lure's not alert working, but it's just perfect conditions for spitter bait right now. So I'm gonna put the jig away for a little bit. Got a, I got a jig in the Texas right now. The main difference is that. The main difference in the two is that one has a skirt and one doesn't. So if I stumble upon some inactive fish, I'll just throw the, the Texas rig at him. Don't work today, so it's gonna be a nice day just fishing all day long. I have a chatterbait too, I might throw later, but anyways, yeah, let's throw the spinnerbait for a little bit. See what we can catch. Okay guys, so just got done at uh Kennedy Lake. Um, wasn't bad, got one fish, had a lot of bites, saw a guy catch about a four pounder, that was pretty sick. Um, yeah, now we're gonna try to meet up with Dominic, maybe go to Silver Bell, and I don't know, we're gonna see if we can go get fish somewhere else, because that lake, um, I think we're done there for the day, but yeah, so stay with us, hopefully we can get some more fish, and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. All right, so we're at Squirrel Oregon. We're almost to Silver Bell Lake. Um, I suck at fishing this lake. I have, every time I go here, I just don't know what to throw. I mean, it looks, when you first get there, it looks like, oh yeah, definitely gonna be able to catch fish here. But you start fishing and it's literally like five feet deep at the most. Or that's what it seems like, I don't know, it just, I hate this lake, but we're gonna try to figure it out today. We're gonna see if we can not 
not change my opinion on it because I don't think that'll ever change, but change my destiny at this lake or something. I don't know. We're going to try to change something at this lake. See if we can catch a couple. Dominic's going to meet me there. He just got out of school, so. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Okay, guys. We just got done fishing here at Silverbell. Honestly, it was crap. It was slow, right, Dominic? Horrible. Yeah, horrible, guys. So, we're going back to Kennedy and trying to catch some actual fish. So, we'll see you guys later. Oops. Kennedy Lake, we're about to slay it. Me and Dominic are gonna do a flip fest. It's gonna be flipping and pitching and all sorts of stuff, jigs, trailers, all sorts of stuff. So stay tuned and we're gonna catch a lot of fish here, hopefully. We're back, flipping the toolies again. There you go, better get one on that. Oh, that's some money right there. Oh no, that's a fish. That has to be a fish. Way over there. That's where I caught mine right there. Really? Yep. A little bit more in, but right about there. Flipped it in or pitched it in and black. The crop yarn all on the shore like they were that one day. Got one guys on the brush hog. Choked it. There he is. Choked the brush hog guys. Look at that. Wasn't even paying attention. I was getting all my stuff ready. To move to the next pond, but dude freaking ate it. Look where I hooked him. It's insane. Inside his mouth. I might have to get up the pliers for this guy. Literally just switched switched up to a two aught, put on the baby brush hog, and apparently that's what they want. So how sick is that? It's a little pounder. Nothing major, but you know. If it was a tournament situation, it'd be a keeper. Maybe I'll chuck around the, chuck this around a little bit. Oh, damn. Oh. Wow. Nice fish. Right, guys that's gonna end it for this episode um i'm gonna merge these two days together yesterday and today we caught two fish within the two days um both on very similar techniques one i was flipping a beaver bait into some reeds this one i was flipping a uh, brush hog into a lay down tree so um that's what that's what we found out today um we did see they are moving up so springtime so is upon us guys that's the most exciting time of the year for us bass fishermen so get out there go fish go catch a big one um yeah try to catch your pb because that's what i'm trying to do all right all right thank you guys so much for today's view um trying to get better uh quality videos out to you guys so hopefully you guys are starting to like them please comment if you guys have any um ideas on how to catch or how to make better videos but uh until next time guys We'll see you guys later on another episode of Stop Living TV.